Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mobile Suit Airsoft. Uh, today we have a special unboxing with a brand new item from Elite Force. This is the brand new uh, M9A3 uh, gas pullback, full auto gas pullback pistol. And I had got this one from Atlanta Firearms. And it was about 134, no, sorry, 139, 140 bucks. Uh, so pretty, pretty on par with everything that's out there for gas pullbacks right now. But this is CO2, and this is just like their other Elite Force M9 full auto, the black one. Uh, but this is just the M9 A3 version. Uh, and so far, the from the image in the box, it looks pretty cool. And from the images online that I've seen, it looks pretty cool. And what I've uh, come to understand is that this is a polymer lower for the frame. A metal slide, metal barrel, but polymer uh, lower for the frame. So it'll be interesting to see how that feels and how durable that is uh, in terms of, you know, if you're going to be running around with it and maybe dropping it by accident or even with use with CO2, with the harshness of CO2 sometimes, like my USPs. Notice how I put it plural on that because I have two of them from Elite Force, the, the gas blowback. Um, CO2 USPs, uh, they broke on me. The polymer frames broke on me, both of them, the same way. Uh, but I digress. That's another video that you guys can go check out on my channel. But let's get into this. So, as you can see, M9 E3 CO2 Airsoft uh, Full Auto Blowback. And it says here it's under 350, so it's 335 FPS with point twos, 22 round mags, uh, metal gun, CO2, 6 millimeter Airsoft. And there you go, you guys can see that. Yep, there's a full auto semi setting. Yeah, extended mag release. Uh, yeah, so let's check it out. Instruction manual, very useful. Check it out for disassembly and whatnot. And the gun itself. Wow, it's pretty light. Wow, okay. So, first impressions right now. Feels good in the hand, especially with the, kind of like the flattened back and the style of the M93. Looks really good. Feels really good. The three dot sides, really nice. Very bright. Metal slide, metal barrel. The polymer frame. Oh, here's the mag. Full metal mag, text CO2. Uh, another thing, um, Elite Force is making the extended mags for this and the other M9 uh, CO2. I think it's like 40 rounds and it's like a $40. Atlanta Airsoft, uh, where, I, where I got this gun, also is selling it. I didn't get it because I just want to budget out my money with it. So I'll get it eventually and do some testing with that too. But Right now, I'm just gonna go stock, and when I get it, I'll uh, put in another video of me using the extended mag. But yeah, so first impressions on this polymer lower. It's lightweight, the whole gun's lightweight because of it. Uh, and if those of you who have uh, uh, felt the other M9, or any other M9s actually, you know, they're a little bit on the heavy side because they're full metal all around, but this is, I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like, sounds and feels like the grips itself. The grips are plastic, but it feels like it's the same material as, as the grips. But we shall see how well that holds up. I like it. It's nice. Let's test the single action. Okay. Reset. There's the reset. Wow. That was a reset. Listen. That's the reset. Pretty crisp. Ooh. This is going to be a fast shooter even without the full auto. And let's try the double action. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's got some girth to it. Yeah. What the? Okay, I guess you can't move the slide with the hammer 
up. You have to pull the hammer down to actuate the slide. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. And yeah, no decocker feature. I thought there would be, but I guess not. The safe, fire. And here's the full auto setting right here. That's in full auto, semi. Yeah, extended mag release feels good. The gun feels nice, I like it. And with the mag inside of it, kind of balances itself out. But yeah, interesting that it doesn't go back with the hammer up. It's to cock the hammer down in order to put the slide, uh, to cycle the slide. It's interesting. Maybe that's with all M9s, or I, I'm not sure. Or maybe just with these Elite Force ones. And I think they're OEM by KWC. Hmm. Alright, let's do some test running and see how this bad boy works. First, semi auto. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, here's the part of the video where we're going to show you how to do a takedown and a cleaning of the gun. Fairly simple if you know how to use M9s. If not, then it's easy to show you right here. First, take out the mag. Then you just want to check if the chamber's clear. Then you're going to want to use that takedown lever right here, pushing that button on the other side, flip the lever down, and then slide just pops forward off right there like that. And then uh, all you need to take out is the guide rod and the barrel, and that's it. So first, you want to uh, hold this um, guide rod pretty sturdy because it'll fling right into your gut if you're not careful. So hold on to that tight and uh, um, just pull, uh, push forward and take it out. Now, same thing with the barrel. Uh, just push forward on it and take it out and there you go, all done. And right there, the little silver piece you see, that's your hop up adjustment right there. So you can access that from taking the slide off and you know reaching your fingers in, if you can reach your fingers in if they're small enough, but if not like mine, you're probably gonna have to use some kind of tool or disassemble the barrel out like this and do it like that but just gonna do a quick time lapse of everything because it's pretty simple because that's how you take it to take the slide apart and the barrel and guide rod and uh all you have to do is reverse those steps and put it back in but yeah super easy and let's just do a, a speed time lapse of this and get to the end and uh closing results
So, kind of overall, at the end of the review, I say it's a good gun. I like it a lot. Uh, pretty good for the price, 140 bucks. Uh, just, I think, another $5 more than the black version of this, uh, the A1 uh, style. Again, same maker, Elite Force Humor X makes it. Um, or I think, like, the OEM, I think, is KWC, but, you know, Humor X and Elite Force are behind it. And it's great. I mean, the polymer lower, it is it is what it is. It, it, it makes it a whole lighter package. But I, I'm still iffy because of my USPs that I had that cracked from CO2 use. I don't know if this is going to, if, if this will break in the same way those USPs did, but I hope it doesn't, but we'll see. And uh, still, even though it's polymer frame, careful dropping it or something, I it would suck if, you know, get a, a huge crack out of the bottom or something and, you know, guns toast or something. So just be wary of that because uh, one of the few differences between this and the, the M9A1, the black one, uh, other than the polymer lower versus the metal lower, uh, and this, like, flat, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, back strap, I guess, <laughs> uh, it's more flat and, uh, I guess, uh, linear instead of the little hump that it has in the A1 version, and the check ring is actually pretty nice on this, uh, except right here for my hands, this is kind of digging in, and it's kind of giving me a little bit of, a like a scratch mark or like a, I don't know, abrasion. I don't, uh, it, it wouldn't be too much with gloves, but, you know, barehanded and using it a lot, like I have just been uh, messing around with it and, uh, you know, just playing with it and shooting it and whatnot. It's got a little abrasion on my hand here. But with gloves, I'm sure it'll be fine. But uh, another thing with the this one versus the M9A1 is the sights are different uh, and there's no decocking feature that I know of because I know... On the M9A1 version, uh, it decocks it, decocks the hammer, but that doesn't happen here. Yeah. But still, when the safety's on, nothing. Yeah. And still, with the with the slide not going back, uh, I figured out that you need to kind of like pull on the trigger a little, and then it cycles, which is weird. I'm not sure if the the A1 version does the same, where you can't lock the slide back or cycle the slide without pulling the trigger, because here you need to pull the trigger and cycle the slide. Weird, but that's what it is. Or like hold on to the trigger, holding, just holding it down. That does it. It's got to be something with the trigger. But, you know, a little nitpick there. Nothing too serious, I think. It doesn't hinder the gun from functioning and working because it still works and it's great. I love the sights. I'm going to put some, uh, some um, I think, like neon glow-in-the-dark green paint on it for the sights so I can have some glow-in-the-dark night sights uh, when I play at night. And this is my tracer unit. I already shot it with the, with the tracer on it right now. Uh, I'm out of CO2, unfortunately, right now. I have to go get some more. But it was it was holding up with uh, the rate of fire on this thing with the Tracer BBs. It was uh, it was lighting all of them up. And dang, that, that freedom switch is awesome. Yeah. Semi-freedom. Booyah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I, I will be posting up some new videos soon of my other guns I have. And... Uh, please stay tuned. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos.